Hi everybody, uh, Gordon Kirkwood here, and um, this big gizmo is a uh, ring of permanent magnets, and it has four electromagnets uh, underneath it that are fairly powerful, and uh, with magnetic sensors I can uh, tell where a object is uh, floating and uh, correct the magnetic field so that it stays stable above this platform. But in the course of all this work, um, I have been asking myself a lot of questions about the shape of magnetic fields, and I realized that I really needed and wanted a way to uh, visualize magnetic fields in three dimensions. And so um, something like a compass uh, would be great, except that most compasses you're familiar with are things that um, are limited to rotating in, in a single plane. And so I made this prototype here of a small uh, gimbal. It's a two-dimensional compass, and it will uh, track to follow the field. And um, it's great, and uh, it was very satisfying when it started to work, except that it, uh, it's very small, and so from any distance, uh, it's kind of hard to tell which way it's pointing. And that's why today I made this. And this is a slightly larger gimbal, which has a laser pointer, a very small one, on it, which um, causes, uh, and the magnets that are on this gimbal, uh, cause it to align with the magnetic field. And so I can move it around and it will automatically point in the direction of the field. But um, instead of having a giant needle, I decided that uh, it'd be great to have a laser pointer on it and maybe do some long exposure photographs. And I haven't done that yet. This is uh, the first uh, documentation of it that I've done. Uh, and I've got about an hour before Tech Shop closes here today. Um, but um, I thought I would uh, show a video of it first in daylight, and then, I've got this fog machine here, which is at the ready, and I'm going to let that run for a minute, and then uh, turn the room lights off. I'm really breathing this stuff in. And um, so I'm going to leave that pointing like that. I might move the camera so it's not quite in the thick of it. And then I'm going to adjust the settings so that it is much more sensitive. And then turn off the room lights. And voila, now we have a laser which is indicating the shape of the magnetic field by the direction it's pointing. And it'll point in whatever direction, like no matter how my hand holds it, it is uh, free to move any way it wants, no matter how my, my hand is. Um, there's a little bit of uh, some uh, variability of its uh, flexibility depending on which way the joints are facing, but it's substantially free to move on its own. And so the next thing I'm going to do after this is, oh that's cool, is to set the camera for a long exposure and then, um, and there's nothing connecting, the only things moving this laser are the magnetic forces and the changing positions that I uh, cause it to follow. Um, this is pretty spectacular. I'm I'm really thrilled. And um, so, next up is to uh, take this off of record and put it on long exposure, and um, we'll see what we get.